Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're all doing very well. Thank you for joining me. Today's date is now June the 10th, Saturday. I'm actually in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, visiting my parents right now using a completely new setup. So I apologize if it's not perfect. I bought this setup all in Canada to save myself a lot of money because I'll be bringing it to Bodrum, Turkey with me in uh, July the 1st. So let me know how the sound quality and everything is. It's a brand new microphone, brand new laptop. Everything is brand new. This is a crazy setup that I'll be using to day trade using a 15 inch laptop and two portable LCD ASUS monitors that'll be used with USB-C. So it's more of a travel uh, setup, but it's still crazy that it's, it's literally still a $10,000 setup that I'll be using on the go. So anyways, let's talk about crypto and what has been happening so far. So I cannot remember how long I've been calling this for now, but I've been calling it for at least since May the 25th. I've been calling $25,200 and uh, we ended up hitting it. I've probably been calling it for since probably the, the middle of the month is what I'm guessing. So I think I've been calling it way longer than that, like way before this. Let's take a look to see if I have any posts out here. I don't want to waste your guys' time, but I know for a fact that I've been calling it for an absurd amount of time now in all of my YouTube videos. And the main reason for that was because, actually, look at look at May 12th, right here. Right here, I'm still calling it for $25,200. Like, this is, a, this is almost a month ago, guys. And here we are, of course. So, and then let me tell you guys why this prediction was so easy to nail, okay? So first of all, I went on a slightly higher time frame, and the time frame that I went on was a three-day chart. And I was looking at this particular price point right here. So if you notice on the three day chart right here, you're going to see that this green box is taking into account the widths and also the body. So there was a very high chance we were going to get into that region. Not only that, if we take a look at this right here, it was drawing into something like this, even or on a higher time frame rather. You can see that the widths just poke right through there and it forms a few contact points which made it a possibility, not a guarantee, but definitely a possibility for something to happen. And it actually ended up hitting it. So now the question is, is it going to hold here? Is it going to hold here? Or is it just going to fly right through? And we take a look at other key metrics as well, such as the three day Chandler exit indicator. So let me talk to you guys about the significance of the three day Chandler exit indicator. The Chandler exit indicator that I use is specifically this one here. Everyone's been asking me about it. Chandelier exit. I use the one by Evergate, the one that has the most. Before I started talking about it, this one only had 2,000 and now it's got 10,000. So at least 8,000 people have started to use it because of me. Okay, so that's what I use, Evergate. It's, it uses a combination of using an ATR. Okay, an ATR, average true range, which measures the volatility of a coin. So it measures how much, the, the, the basically the range of the coin the top and the bottom and the volatility measurement of that candle. So it gives you a trend line like this green one or this red one based off of the volatility, not the average price. Okay, the average price is completely different. Average prices for moving averages only take the price that it closes at. But this one takes into account the open and the close because it's measuring volatility instead of just the price. So if you take a look at since the bear market began back in like November, it turns red for the first time. And then the volatility says that, okay, we're now bearish. Okay, we need to break this red line for us to be considered in another volatile range. So you guys are welcome to learn about it on yourselves on, actually there's not really a lot of places to learn about it, to be quite honest. Chandelier exit indicator combined with ATR, it's one complicated freaking topic to be quite honest. Like it's a complicated topic. It's so easy to learn like RSI, MACD, but to really understand it, you gotta put in like hundreds of hours of work to be very thorough at understanding how it's used. So I'm gonna try to explain it the best that I can, all right? So right here, you see that it's acting as a resistance throughout the whole time. Resistance, 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 resistance. It actually acts as a resistance all the way from back there to here for 403 days, actually 406 days. So for about literally four, one year and two months, 
almost two months, it acted as a resistance. That is a really long time. And then finally it breaks upwards, which means that the volatility changed, which means that it turned from bearish to bullish. Okay, so it doesn't always need to stay green. Sometimes it'll have a slight hint of red where it breaks below. So every time it breaks below the green, it'll turn red. Every time it breaks below the red, it turns green. Notice how it's not always consistent and it breaks. Just like just like for other bull markets, like it's gonna it's gonna break as well, like in between the bull market and bear market, right? So right before the bull market begins, you'll see it go from red to green, red to green. And then eventually it just stays green the whole time and it never stops. That's what happens. So the goal is to be able to catch a bull market and actually ride it for a long time. So we see right here now, we're actually at the three day chandelier exit indicator support. So this is crucial to hold. If we don't hold here, we're gonna end up falling through really, really hard to lower price points. I don't know where that price point's gonna be, but it's gonna be a deeper retracement than this guaranteed, okay? And in terms of Elliott Wave Theory, we have no idea where this is at, okay? There's it's impossible to count this. On a macro picture, the two week is still going up, but we see it coming down. Keep in mind that these are lagging indicators. Windows 10 cursor is weird. I'm telling you, man, the Windows 10 cursor is really weird. It's inverted, so I gotta change that back. So see here, the weekly came down already, but these are lagging indicators, so we might have actually ended up being bullish already. On top of that, we see the four day down, basically four day down, daily is even down too. Daily is down really hard. Today took a major drop to the downside, you can tell, okay? So those are some major, major drops. On top of that, we can see that, hold on, let me just change this, change the dollar amount there. Okay, there we go, this is good. So we can see that, for example, sorry, just give me one second, OCD is kicking in because this is a new laptop. Sorry guys, I'm very, 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 very sorry. Okay, so now we take a look at um, the total, okay, the market cap. Let's take a look at Bitcoin dominance. Ooh, Bitcoin dominance fell. Oh, actually it went up a significant amount. Okay, people are selling off Bitcoin right now, not really alts if you're noticing. See that? Like they really are, because <laughs> how did we break above that 48%? That's been a resistance for a long time. Like a really long time, 48%. I didn't think we were gonna break it anytime soon. See what I mean? So we broke it, but barely, barely broke it. So what is the total market cap right now? Total market cap is about 1 trillion. March, we got to that resistance. Now we're falling down through. So in the past few days, since I've been in Canada, we have really, really fallen through a pretty significant amount. Market caps dropped about 7%. We're not gonna get into like high, high, bullish seasons until this red resistance ends up breaking. So it's not really looking that great right now. Everything is selling off. Since I've been gone for like a week and a half, the whole market has been selling off. Bitcoin has been on fire to the downside. So everything is pointing to the downside right now. Okay, I'm very bearish, but if we don't, but we can still hold here at 25.2. Okay, I called that 25.2. We actually ended up almost hitting it by like, like a hundred dollars off, big whoop, right? So if we don't hold here, we're gonna fall through, man. And there's a possibility that if you look on the macro picture, like the really, really big picture, I'm not used to this computer at all yet. Right here, this one that I've been drawing for a while, this one right there all the way through from the monthly even, okay? If I had to draw it all the way through from the monthly and take a look at the gigantic picture, like the huge picture from way back, there's still a chance that, that this here could hit around the 20,000 range again, okay? Don't, don't forget that for a moment, that we can easily, easily hit here again. Around around the 18,000 to 18 to 20K range, okay? And it's okay. It's okay if it hits it because times, like we've seen massive rallies in the past before, okay? Like if you take a look at, like for example, this here, okay? We've seen, we've seen this massive rally go on for like 200 days for 300% and then it drops like 70% and then the rally continues. Right? We've seen things like that happen all the time. 
So it doesn't always need to continue its way up. In fact, it's all right if it comes down here, it will give us more time to dollar cost average. And then we finally start to go to the upside. So yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Like if we hit there, perfect. I'm gonna be very happy. We're gonna get a chance to DCA even more. So other than that, I just wanted to give you guys my quick update. I had a little bit of time today. And um, other than that, I gotta get ready for a wedding right away. Wanted to kill some time, give you guys an update, let you know that we're looking really freaking bearish right now. Like very, very bearish. And if we hit like 20K ranges, 18K ranges, I wouldn't be surprised to be quite honest. And it's gonna give us a lot more time to buy more. So stay positive, stay optimistic. Every month that passes by, right? May's already gone now. When every month passes by, it's one month closer to the halving. So anyways, thanks for joining me today. Have a great day, everybody. Take care now.